This presentation is titled Literate Programming via Command Line Interface Scripts using Raku. My name is Anton Antonov. Today is March 6, 2023. And in this presentation, we are going to see how we can do literate programming with um, short pipelines of command line interface scripts. Those um, scripts are written in Raku. We're using Raku packages. Literate programming is a way to interactively develop computational documents. The alternative of this approach is to use Mathematica or Jupyter Notebooks. This here is a Mathematica Notebook. We can see we have um, code chunks with Raku code and we can interactively add uh, text and, uh, and computations and do graphics and so forth. All right, we're not doing that here in, uh, in this presentation. We're using the command line. And uh, my uh, initial document with which I'm going to be converting is this uh, markdown document. And uh, I have specified different computations. And uh, with this uh, markdown document, I'm going to convert it into another, um, another markdown document. And the second one is going to be converted into HTML. And I need to do the conversion to HTML in order to get the visualizations of the JavaScript graphics. So this is what is, uh, what is the result here. All right, so uh, I'm going to go through this uh, flowchart to, to kind of better narrate the, the process, what just happened. So we are writing uh, a document in a, in a markdown format. We have Raku code, it's like this is this uh, document here, right? We have Raku code and uh, so forth. Let me switch to this uh, uh, editing uh, format. And uh, then we, we run it with uh, the package text code processing. So if we have uh, JavaScript specifications, so we get uh, JavaScript output in this uh, woven markdown, document, then we have to convert to HTML in order to, to actually execute the JavaScript and see the graphics. Then we examine the results and we continue. If we don't have JavaScript graphics, we, we can just examine the, the results of the uh, code chunks and you know decide should we edit further or not. The conversion to HTML happens with the package Markdown Grammar. And so let me uh, show how the, the woven document looks like. So we can see we have the code chunk um, here, which says it's a uh, Perl 6. And that uh, code chunk has been, let me find it here, located. Yeah, we, we kind of, we get the summary. The result of this has been pasted under. Now, when we specify uh, JavaScript somewhere here, we have to say that um, the, to the code chunk we have to use the uh, option results as is and we have to specify what the format the output of this uh, uh, javascript d3 date list plot function is um, html and we need to specify diff id if we don't specify different diff ids to this uh, javascript uh, plotting commands then all of the plots are going to be in the same location so let's see how this looks here in the woven uh, version of the document. So yeah, you can see that uh, yeah, HTML is the result and is being uh, pasted uh, underneath. If I didn't say as is, we're going to have uh, the, the, the markdown output, like you can see it here, right? So we can have a markdown uh, cell, code cell, with uh, some output um, marking. But because I say as is, basically what this function generates is being directly placed under. And this function generates HTML code. And so this is what's happening. I can visualize uh, this um, HTML uh, preview, this HTML um, version here. This is uh, the comma ID. It is based on IntelliJ. And so basically this is it. Uh, if I, we, we're kind of uh, going through this loop repeatedly until we get satisfied with the result of whatever computational document we are developing. All right, thank you.